So Greg, um, you know how the industry with computer services and whatnot, it's kind of cyclical and we're seeing these trends and these, uh, these new services spring up. One of my favorite by far that I think every organization and uh, out there, especially in organizations can benefit from is the notion of managed services. I've seen a thousand websites. I know that, that I, I understand the landscape of those. Help me as a marketer, as a, as a, you know, a strategy person, not an IT person. Help me understand the value of a managed service provider to a small business. So say that that business with three to five employees or, you know, five to 15 employees, where does a managed service provider help them? So MSPs, managed service providers, are beneficial even to large organizations. Uh, because you get into what we call augmentation situations where you're augmenting the capabilities of your staff. For smaller SMBs, small to mid-sized businesses, it's really good because they don't have somebody full-time in that role. What do I mean by that? Well, let's talk about the ma marketing side. We offer some managed marketing services. Yeah. What it means is for every month, you pay a fixed amount. You know what you're, you can budget for. It's, it's a, a regular expense item. You don't have to worry about it. That's great. You have access to all of our resources. You have access to web people, marketing designers, branding, video content, editing, whatever it is that you need, you have access to the team. It's almost sort of like an insurance policy in a way, but the benefit is with a good company, they'll generally do proactively some stuff for you as well. So on the IT on the side, so on the IT side, on the IT side, desktop and server desktop maintenance. Desktop server maintenance, cybersecurity, email. backups, <laughs> email, and a lot of companies don't have the resources to pay for full-time IT, or if they do, the IT person is generally more of a help desk person, frontline support, the first person you go to, but where do they go when they're stuck? And honestly, it's of huge benefit for them to have a security blanket of where they go to and also know that things are being looked at proactively because good MSPs are gonna have checklists and they're gonna make sure and they're gonna have a standard that they adhere to for here's the software you use to protect the server and monitor the resources and see if there's any new threats, make sure things are locked down, make sure you got the latest patches and security fixes and updates. Honestly, I am a believer in, in MSPs, managed services. And I guess, like on the marketing side, you can't have a team of one or two people who's an expert in all of those Not at areas. All. You need to have access to resources that have specific knowledge. I don't expect, you know, a server manager. <laughs> we just we watched the camera. the camera fall down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even turn it on. It's I know not doing anything. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> it's important to have, I guess, resources that are knowledgeable, very deep knowledge in multiple areas or multiple resources who can each handle that. Yeah. And that's impossible to do for a small business. So by getting uh, an agreement, whether it's month to month or a term agreement over 12 months or a year or two years or whatever, uh, is beneficial because you know how much you're going to be paying. Uh, there, you have access to a wide range of expert services. And honestly, I feel a lot of organizations by cheaping out are actually doing themselves more harm. There you go. That's not worth it. No. Find a service provider. Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. MSPs. MSPs. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Press subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.